Imagine you find a book about building a time machine. You build it, travel back in time, and give the book to your younger self. So, who wrote the book? It's a loop where an object or information exists without ever being created. Picture this. You travel back in time and accidentally prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. If they never met, you wouldn't be born. But if you weren't born, how did you travel back in time to stop them from meeting? It's a head-scratcher that challenges the very fabric of causality. A bootstrap paradox, also known as an information loop, information paradox, ontological paradox or predestination paradox, is a time travel conundrum where an event, like an action, information, object or person, ultimately causes itself. This happens due to retrocausality or time travel, allowing information, people or objects to exist whose histories seem to come from nowhere. Imagine backward time travel where you can journey into the past. In such a scenario, causally looped events exist in space-time, but their origins are undetermined. This self-existence is what makes the bootstrap paradox so paradoxical. Let's bring this concept to life with some examples from popular culture. Take the movie Somewhere in Time. In this film, an old woman gives a watch to a playwright. Later, he travels back in time, meets the same woman when she was young, and gives her the very same watch that she will eventually give to him. The watch has no origin point, it simply exists in a loop. Another intriguing example is from Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. A 23 RD century engineer travels back in time and provides the formula for transparent aluminum to a 20th century engineer. The twist? The 20th century engineer is credited with inventing it, but he only received the formula from the future. The information seemingly comes from nowhere. These examples illustrate the perplexing nature of the bootstrap paradox. Objects or information that exist without a clear origin challenge our understanding of causality and time. They make us question, can something truly come from nothing? The grandfather paradox, also known as the consistency paradox, arises when actions taken in the past create contradictions. Imagine you travel back in time and prevent your own grandparents from meeting. This action would stop your parents, and consequently you, from being born. But if you were never born, how could you have travelled back in time to prevent their meeting in the first place? This paradox highlights the contradictions that arise when altering the past. If the time traveller were never born, then it becomes impossible for them to undertake such an act. Therefore, the ancestor lives, ensuring the time traveller's existence. It's a loop with no clear resolution, leaving us with more questions than answers. Consistency paradoxes occur whenever changing the past is possible. One proposed resolution is the Novikov self-consistency principle, which suggests that a time traveller can only do what has already happened. Any attempt to do otherwise would result in a contradiction. The grandfather paradox isn't limited to just family trees, it's a broader concept that applies to any change in the past. For example, consider the Hitler paradox. If someone travels back in time to prevent Adolf Hitler from instigating World War II, they remove the very reason for their journey, creating a paradox. These scenarios force us to question the very nature of time and causality. Can the past truly be changed, or is it set in stone? Newcomb's paradox is a thought experiment that presents an apparent contradiction between two fundamental principles, the expected utility principle and the strategic dominance principle. Imagine a scenario where a perfect predictor, who can foresee your every decision, presents you with two boxes. Box A contains a guaranteed $1,000, while box B contains either nothing or $1 million. You have a choice. Take both boxes or only box B. The perfect predictor has already made a prediction about your choice. If they predicted you would take both boxes, box B will be empty. If they predicted you would take only box B, it will contain $1 million. The paradox arises because the expected utility principle suggests you should maximize your gains by taking only box B, trusting the predictor's infallibility. On the other hand, the strategic dominance principle argues that you should take both boxes to ensure you get at least $1,000 regardless of the prediction. Newcomb's paradox extends beyond mere decision-making to explore deeper questions of causality and free will. If perfect predictors of the future exist, such as through time travel, then the very concept of free will comes into question. 
How can decisions made with free will be truly free if they are already known to the perfect predictor? Interestingly, predestination in this context does not necessarily involve a supernatural power. It could result from other mechanisms of infallible foreknowledge, such as advanced algorithms or time travel scenarios. The paradox challenges our understanding of free will, destiny and the nature of time itself. Problems arising from infallibility and influencing the future are at the heart of Newcomb's paradox. If our choices are already known, can we ever truly make a free decision? Or are we merely following a predetermined path laid out by an infallible predictor? Using modal logic, it is demonstrated that changing the past leads to logical contradictions. If an event necessarily happened in a certain way, it cannot have occurred differently. Thus, a time traveler cannot alter the past but can only act in ways already consistent with it. The grandfather paradox suggests that time travel might be inherently paradoxical and logically impossible. Bradley Dowden argued that contradictions negate the possibility of past directed time travel. However, other philosophers and scientists believe that time travel is possible if the past cannot be changed, as proposed by the Novikov self-consistency principle. Godel's illusory time, Kurt Godel, through his work on Godel metrics, suggested that time might be an illusion, aligning with the block time view, where all events are fixed within a four-dimensional block universe. Physical impossibility and bootstrap paradoxes. Sergei Krasnikov and other physicists discuss bootstrap paradoxes where objects or information loop through time without a clear origin. Such paradoxes do not violate physical laws but challenge our understanding of them. Novikov and Losev introduced the concept of jinn for these self-sufficient loops. Novikov's self-consistency principle. Igor Dmitrievich. Novikov's principle states that time travel can occur without paradoxes if all events are self-consistent. Any action by a time traveler would have always been part of history preventing contradictions. Physicists like Joseph Polkinski and Kip Thorne have explored scenarios like Polkinski's paradox and found self-consistent solutions, causal loops and cosmic censorship. Causal loops and the Novikov principle are seen by some, like Visser and Krasnikov, as ad hoc solutions with potential flaws. The cosmic censorship hypothesis posits that closed time-like curves are hidden behind event horizons, preventing observable paradoxes. The interacting multiple universes approach suggests that time travelers enter different universes, not altering their original timeline. David Deutsch's work on quantum computation implies that time travel can produce self-consistent solutions, even within the many worlds interpretation. This view suggests that time travelers experience a consistent history, avoiding contradictions in their original universe. Overall, while time travel presents significant theoretical challenges and paradoxes, various principles and hypotheses suggest it might be logically and physically feasible under specific conditions, primarily through the idea of self-consistency and parallel universes.